What's happening guys, Caltech CC here. I thought I'd take a break from all the sort of like, you know, um, state of things stuff going on and do an old school hero review. Um, I have got a bit of a fitness tip before you get going. Um, I went for a long walk in the woods. Uh, I got a nice forest nearby me, so it's nice just to get out into nature, get some fresh air. And it was pissing down with rain and I was walking, you know, just getting my t-shirt wet and my baseball cap soaking and everything. Got my body all cold. It's a good way to sort of like boost your immune system. It's just a nice little tip for you. Right, so I'm going to review Valiant Saint Des. Right, I know she's old, but I'm still using her in the main team. So I thought, right, well, might as well do a review. Like, you know, I know I said I was going to do a review ages ago, but I just, you know, I've been distracted by stuff and everything. So first of all, I got the skin for her. Um, Fiery Angel skin. I got it up to level 10. It's really cool. Um, I, I mean, she looks badass. Like, it's, it's awesome, like, isn't it? And uh, you get all those effects and everything. Um, I've got her on. I can't remember what. Yeah, I've got. I got level ten stealth, which I like because she's immune to silence. So um, if the stealth goes, obviously, like stealth can be silenced. If a, if a hero's immune to silence, then stealth's quite a good one to put on her. And I'm running her with survival as well. So she can be quite tanky. Sometimes you'll do a raid and she's a bit shit and she'll just die. But most of the time, you know, the stealth kicks in and she's quite tanky. So we'll go through Saint's Blood. Um, I mean, I've got a fully, like, leveled up Destiny and everything. Relics-wise, um, I've forgotten to do it. Oh, no, no. I've... Yeah, I haven't got any left, like, so... Yeah, I'm stuck on that at the moment. Um, I'm running her with that pet. And I got her, like, fully, you know, up to level 15 and all. Um, what was it? Traits-wise, let's have a look at the traits. I can't even remember what our treats are. It's been ages since I checked these. Um, let's have a look. Right, so traits wise, I got her with Sanctified Blast. I don't know if that's any good on her, but it seems to work. And I got like, you know, three star accuracies here five star dodge of crit damage and a crit, and a five star accuracy, four star crit resist there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so we'll just um, go through a skill first. Right, so hero transforms into a Valkyrie, disarms nearby enemy targets so that they're enabled to perform normal attacks and trigger their skills. So she's got like a good sort of debuffing on hero's attacks. Reduces their crit rate by 80%. Like, you know, that can be okay, I guess. Um, in Valkyrie form, she deals 170% attack damage to current targets 16 consecutive times. So she's got like a nice attack to her as well. Increases her own attack speed and she ignores damage limits of targets. So she's got that true damage effect. Um... I have actually seen a play through as a Virica before. Not all the time, like, but, you know. I mean, like, I've, I've recently come up against a couple of Dynamicas, or, and that's, that hero was just fucking stupid, like, so I'm just trying to avoid Dynamicas at the moment. Right, so this hero is immune to stern size, energy reduction effects, and conditions of calamity. Receives 70% less damage and recovers HP. So she recovers HP as well. Um, you know, I mean, if you're not on the epic hero buzz, which obviously a lot of, like, the free-to-play players at the moment are struggling with, because with backups and everything like that. Um, you can get her from those gold legend cards, and she's decent. I'm still using her. I haven't replaced her. I find her better than Boreal Fox, and I, I replaced Bogeyman as well, I think, first time around with her. Um, so we'll do the expert dungeon thing. Um, which one was it I used to do? This one there, just to see how she goes. Like, And, uh, yeah, I just haven't... Found anyone better to replace her with, you know, well, to replace. Um, she's good, do you know what I mean? So I just crack on with her at the moment, she, and I'm happy to have her in my team. So, um, you know, she's kind of okay against troops. No, she's shit against troops, right? So she's a bit crap getting through troops. And you see there, she's doing some snipe damage on some of the heroes and everything. So she got she got some snipe damage going down, which is cool. Um, you know she's not hitting the centaurs, but so th this be interesting to see how she fares against the centaur and everything. You see there, she can put down some you know decent hits and everything. You see there, she's not really losing any energy and stuff. Um, she's pretty tanky. Obviously, the survival works well. Gives her the extra bit of invincibility and healing. And you see there, she's just nice and tanky, like, do you know what I mean? She goes she go in here no problem at all. Um, you know, I mean, she's breakthrough level 30 as well. That's the other thing as well, so she's fully maxed. 
Max. So you see here, she just like, you know, she beats through these no problem. She's barely taking any damage. Do you know what I mean? So, um, you know, she's pretty good. Right, we'll stop that now. You know, I, I like her. I, I think she looks cool as well. Do you know what I mean? She just, um, she seems to, you know, be a decent member of the team. Uh, Raiding wise, we'll check her out now. She's also good in things like Lost Battlefield. I like her. Do you know what I mean? Um, we'll put her up against this uh, Rambai. Because Rambai's a bitch in this game. He, he just never dies. So I don't know why she's going up against there. I think that's the new Massacre one. So we'll see how she does. You see there, she's just kind of like doing okay. She's taking damage and she died. So she might be shit against the new epic heroes. Wondrous. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Right, let's try her one more time. Might as well. I haven't spent uh, 10 gems on a hero for ages. Yeah, it's like the new epic hero thing. I'm not coming up against them too much down at this level. So <laughs> it's just when you see a dynamic at the moment, I'm just saying, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not bothering, like, do you know what I mean? Right, so what's this guy? Right, so let's see how she does against this Demon Stalker. There's Demon Stalker, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so the stealth's kicking in. See, the stealth's okay, like, do you know what I mean? I mean, she can, she's not invincible. Like, I mean, she can't die, obviously, in that last one. She didn't do well against that massacre. But you see there, when the stealth kicks in, and you've got the extra... Okay, so she managed to get... She struggled against... Which one's that? Water Priestess. So Water Priestess must, must be quite good. So she did alright against Demon Stalker, shit against Water Priestess. Um, but, you know, I mean, if, you, if you're if you struggling with the epic hero things at the moment and you want a decent sort of legendary hero to go with, I, I rate Valiant Saint Death up there at the moment. She's still very good. Like, you know what I mean? You've seen how well she did against that Demon Stalker. Didn't do well against Mask and Water Priestess. Um, you know, I mean, it's just a case of... I am started using the epic heroes yet because I haven't got enough backups to get everyone maxed out and it's taken them taking a while. So I'm still happy to be using her at the moment. And um, yeah, she's decent. You can get her from those uh, gold legend cards. So just, you know, she's difficult to get though. She's one of the rarer ones, which, you know, is for a reason, like, do you know what I mean? Um, so you probably want to save up about 10 and open them all at the same time when that's your best chance of getting them. Getting her like, do you know what I mean? She can be a bit difficult to get from the cards. But I still like her, do you know what I mean? She does work in Guild Wars. I mean, she's not my top hero on here anyway. I mean, it's a very good, and I'd use If I'm attacking, I'll bring in Rambad for um, Revive. Levanica's still doing well. Cosmo's great for, um, you know, smashing all the buildings and everything. And obviously, Dovekeeper's nice and tanky. She's just a good member of the team to have. And, you know, I, I haven't found anyone better to replace her with so far. So, all right, cheers, guys.